Welcome back to Ark's Fate, Alice. I spent some time before the beginning of this episode looking around and trying to figure stuff out, and I achieved in figuring absolutely nothing out. Not a single damn thing. However, I did discover something new. I was thinking about the fact that I seem to be missing one of these stone tablets, since I'm supposed to have six of them and I only have five. And I was looking around for what I might have missed, and I found somewhere. So this is the intro. The, uh, intro. <laughs> this is the entrance to the big chamber here. And right around here, there's a place with a bunch of chests that I, for some reason, never opened. So that's where you go up. Here's this place that I checked out. And then over here, this is what I missed. This room. Yeah, there's three freaking chests, so I think there's a pretty good chance that the missing stone tablet is somewhere here. This one's locked. Locked. And the others are trapped. There's also a zombie that is currently sleeping. Let's tiptoe around so we don't wake him up. Shh, be quiet. I'm thinking maybe if I activate one of the traps it would wake him up. Anyway, let's bless ourselves and get to cracking. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I just realized I might have the key to this. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hell yeah! Master Locksmith. <laughs> it's full of bones. Thank you. That's lovely. Come closer. You... You seem very small. Join us. You seem very small. Be one of us. I swear his voice is even smaller sounding. You're so cute. I don't even want to burn you to death. Well, I kind of do. Was that a child? Oh. Hello. I'm glad I looted you. Normally they don't have any loot on them. Worth a damn. Key and a piece of paper. Intriguing. One three one is a key to open my brother's treasures. Wait, what? I have two copies of that note. Yeah, I have two copies of the note. Well, all right then. Let's see if this key goes to this chest. No. I have so many keys, but I've barely used them. Alright, bones. Whew. That's a lot of gold. 1800. And more bones. Okay, well, as interesting as that was, that does not help me in solving this riddle whatsoever. I honestly have no freaking clue what to do. I think I might have to just look up some tips online. Well, I'm going to do a little bit more looking around and see if I can find something, but yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to have to use a walkthrough. We'll see. I'll be right back. Okay, I finally just looked it up online, and it turns out I was kind of doing it right in the first place, but I, I do, of course, need the other slab, which I was missing. And I had no idea what to actually do with the slabs themselves. That's the part that I really needed help with. So, anyway, before we get to that, let's actually get the final slab, which I believe is in here. So this is actually back all the way on level 4. Yeah, there's this little pathway here that I apparently missed. I'm not certain it's in here, but I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, what do you know? Alright, there we go. Of course, there's more here, though. 
wooden shield, some daggers, doesn't matter. Nah, no, I've barely got any room left, so anything I want to stuff in my inventory is going to have to be pretty high value to justify the room. Okay, there is all of that, so I'm going to make my way back there, and I'll be right back. Oh yes, very good. You're on the right track. Now, put each honor stone in place to correspond with its related house. Now, I just have to find out where each stone belongs at the base of the columns. Pretty sure that's easy to figure out. Okay, so, yeah, I just finally got these set correctly. Um. I feel like this is a pretty good example of how never ever to design a puzzle. Uh, it, it seems so cool when it first started. It's like, a ghost is giving me a riddle in this huge dungeon filled with all sorts of secrets. It's like, amazing! That was so cool. But the way I actually solve it is just so fiddly. For one, the the clue here of going from the what is it? From the setting sun towards the rising sun. Oh, it doesn't even say that anymore. It's it's been updated. Yeah, the clue about the rising sun and the setting sun, which I, I'm assuming that's supposed to tell you the direction in which you're supposed to copy the location of these symbols back there and how you're supposed to transpose them onto this, if that makes any sense. Since back there, in the uh, various rooms on the map, like up here, you know, symbol here, symbol here, symbol here, symbol here, symbol here, symbol here, that sort of thing, it's roughly laid out like this. I think the clue about the sun is supposed to tell you in which kind of direction to transpose them, but it... Even after having solved it, I don't understand. And uh, these symbols here, by the way, like this this I, this block thing, this V, or A, depending on which way you want to look at it, these things, they, they seem to be completely irrelevant. Like, why are those even there? And it turns out, the way that you're supposed to set these up is not so that the correct symbols are facing inwards, which is how I was doing them before, but instead so they're facing outwards. Like, what? And, and to make it even worse, requiring these carved stones just seems like uh, an unnecessary layer of potential frustration. Because if you missed any of these, which I, I did, I missed one, then you could, in my case, have to go back two levels to find one place that you missed to find it. Like, why even require these? It's not like it's necessary, it just adds a, a layer of fiddliness, because it means you might have to go very far away to find the items you need to solve this puzzle, rather than having everything kind of self-contained within this area. I don't know, that was just a bit of a mess. Okay, so at this point, I think I just need to put the correct stone on the pedestal that corresponds with the symbol. Or not? I don't know, it doesn't really look like it's touching. Do I have to use it on it? No, you can't use it. Is that not how it works? What if I move this? I can't even move that anymore. I was wondering if these little pedestal things that have raised up would go back down. Be like, nope, I'm done. I don't like this place. I'm retracting back into my shell. Yeah, what the hell? Uh, 
Um, maybe you place them in the direction opposite. So, like, this is the symbol pointing this direction, so you place that symbol on this pedestal. Like... Maybe? Yeah, I guess we'll try it. Alright, so this one has the moon with the dot over here. This one has the sun. This one has the moon without a dot. This one is the... Oh, yeah, I already got that one. And the... F Wait, no, I'm missing one. I have one left in my inventory. Gee, I wonder where that one goes. No? What the fuck? I don't get it. I feel like I had it right the first time, but it just didn't work. Uh, does it matter that the items aren't actually touching the pedestal thing? I do place them on the things that raised up, right? Not on these things. Why is it always floating? Yeah, you can't use them, you do have to drop them. Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna look this part up too, because the I, I don't really feel in the mood for solving it. I don't really trust the game's puzzles anymore. Okay, so it seems that since I've set the outside correctly to what is marked on the floor, now what you need to do is put the symbol on this pedestal that matches the insides. So, yeah, first you set the outside, and then you use the inside to set the outside pedestal like what I'm really dis I'm really disappointed in this puzzle it was so cool to begin with and I was so excited to solve it and then it just became a source of annoyance <sighs> oh well There we go. A puzzle I solved with absolutely no satisfaction whatsoever. Yeah! Okay, new stuff. Fuck that puzzle. New stuff. Let's do cool stuff. Cool. Hidden thing. I like hidden things. I do want to get up on that walkway, too, which is perhaps where those stairs lead to. Oh, that... I, I didn't realize I was so close to the Shield of the Ancients. Hello. Why is it red? Does that mean it's trapped? Can you trap an item? Like, I know you can trap uh, chests and stuff like that, obviously, but that's just an item. What am I doing? Stop. I shouldn't do this. No, no, you really should. Not a good idea. I guess I'll just... take it? <clears throat> that thing is huge and beautiful. Seven armor compared to my current one, which gives me three. And plus 40% protection from magic. I can even use it, too. Please tell me I can keep this thing. Can I, can I hold it for just a little while? Hmm. I have to admit, its glowiness is kind of distracting. 
That protection from magic is insane. I wonder if this might just be a quick exit out. Oh no, looks like it does lead to here. Cool. What? What the hell was that? That didn't sound pleasant. Is that a... A glyph? A room? I think I already have that one. Hold on, do I? Hmm... I actually don't think I do. No, I didn't. I wonder if that's like the only place you can actually get that one. Alright, let's see if I can do anything new with it. A detector app, that's new. Trap, that's also new. And repel undead. Interesting. So I can actually make a trap. How does that work? Raise dead. I can summon an undead? Holy crap, that sounds amazing. Disable traps? Chaos <laughs> creates considerable damage around the spellcaster. Let's try raising the undead. I wonder though, are they going to be bent to my will or uncontrolled? If they were uncontrolled, then what would be the point? Who just just attacked me? Hello there, friend. That actually didn't take much mana at all. Oh, they do attack me. God damn it. That's what I thought would happen. Something's very, very unhappy with me. Let's practice the repel undead. Uh, oh. It seems he slipped under the solid iron floor. How unfortunate. Well then. Oh, I can just cancel it. That's good to know. So it's kind of uncontrolled, but also kind of controlled. I can make it disappear at any moment. But as for what it does while it's alive, that is not exactly under my control. Okay, I have the mighty shield of the ancients. There's still a lot of undiscovered stuff here, though. Remember that place I couldn't get into with a bunch of... Well, with a bunch of secret passageways and that one... <laughs> and the one statue that I... The statue room that I couldn't get into? The maze of the... The lost or whatever? Maze of the damned? But I have no idea what to do about that. And there's still this, which is still locked. This. Hello? Anyone inside? Knock, knock. I don't know. I want to say maybe at some point I'll find something that will make me come back, but I seriously doubt I'm coming back here. I don't know, it just feels like I'm done with this place. Hmm. 
All right, let's get. Whoa! Shit. Uh, you know what? If I remember right, I do believe that uh, fireballs do not work very well against these things. According to what a viewer told me. Apparently they're very resistant to it. Only problem is trying to look at my spellbook for something else to use. Would take a little bit, little bit too much time. So, fuck. Here, maybe he'll burn his little toesies as he goes across this thing. In fact... Yeah, what are you gonna do, huh? Huh? Yeah, fuck you, dick! Burn! I will take your golem's heart, your necklace, and... Ooh. That's new. So many runes. Now what can I do? I had to have opened up something. No? Wait, slow time. That wasn't there before, was it? Time slows down for everybody except the spellcaster. Ooh. I wonder how much mana that takes. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. What, is, what, actually, what actually is this rune? Tempus. Tempus. It's all squiggly. It's like a snake. Wow, that went through my mana so fast. Yeah, huh. I'm trying to think of what I would use that for. Because if I use that to scramble around to try to find good spells to use, what would it even matter at that point? Because it goes through my, my mana so fast, I'd, I'd be out of mana to even cast anything. I could use mana potions, but... Eh. I don't know. I swear, with 99% of these spells, I'm going to use them, like, one time in the entire game. Okay, wasn't there a... easy way to get back out... to the rebel place. Because I need to go visit her again and give her the shield. I don't even remember what floor that was on. Yeah, that, so that's a secret pas passageway that leads up here, but that's not where I need to go, is it? I'm almost certain it is not. Where the hell was it that I needed to go? Level 4? Well, I guess we could try the secret passageway. I'm pretty sure the secret passageway was opened with the thing that she gave me. The sacred dagger pass. Or maybe not. Oh no, never mind, it's not. Well, I'm kind of lost, so I'm going to be back when I find my way back there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's level 4, the underground lake. Yeah, this is where I met her, the unnamed woman who actually had a name on the minimap, which was rather strange. I don't even know your name. It's like, yes, you do, Amshigar, you jackass. Good evening. <laughs> Cat still got your tongue? 
Hmm. Let's see, where did I come from? He was up here. Yeah, there it is. Alright, take away my precious. Come on. My spies tell me that you found the shield. Is this true? Maybe. Can, can I fool her by just giving her a wooden shield? Like, yes, this is the shield of the ancients. What should I do? Not now. I don't think she's fooled. Aha! Uh -huh. Here it is. Oh, Amshagar, um, you have no idea. You see, this shield is much more than just a magical artifact. It is the shield of my grandfather, King Poxelis. Grandfather? So you are... Aaliyah. Daughter of King Loonshire and Queen Florence, Princess of Arx, at your service. Why do you stay in hiding? How can you stay with these people who kidnapped you and killed your mother? These people are my protectors and bodyguard. The secret order of the Sacred Dagger, founded by King Poxelis himself. Their only mission is to protect the royal bloodline. They did not kill my mother. They found me near her body shortly after my birth. To this day, no one knows who killed her. Why are you still in hiding? Before my birth, the Sacred Dagger discovered that the Snake Women of the Order of Adernium wanted me dead, though they could not determine why. They orchestrated my kidnapping in order to preserve the Kingdom's legacy. They considered using the Traveler's Guild to take me away from Arx, but the Order has agents everywhere, it seems. Does your father know any of this? No! He's not even aware that I'm still alive. As far as he knows, the Sacred Dagger is nothing more than a band of dissidents and malcontents. And frankly, I would be happier if it stayed that way, for his own safety. Promise me you will not breathe a word of this to him. I will honor my word, of course, and instruct the guards to let you into the dungeon where we keep Krahaus. Use it well, stranger. Oops. Okay, then. The dungeon, so I guess that would be where they kept telling me to get the hell out of here, I don't have permission to be here. Those snake women are driving the order mad. But before that, I should probably sell my stuff. Eh. Depends on how big the dungeon is, I suppose. Might not be too big, and there is a guy actually here who sells stuff. If I can remember where the hell he was. Yeah, I should probably go sell some of my stuff. Excuse me. I'm watching you. Don't mess with me. Is it like? <laughs> Am I not allowed inside? Don't even try to lay a finger on Aaliyah. Uh, I think maybe they closed down shop for the night. Not really sure why the door opened there for a second. Alright, well I believe this is the place they did not want me to go. Let's see if they've changed their mind. Okay, they're cool with me now. Mmm, water. My stomach is gonna burst now.
Got a couple bones left in my bindle bag or whatever. Um. Nothing seems to be happening. I guess I'm fine. What is that? I'm watching you. Are you sure? With me. It's awfully dark in here. I can even barely see a thing. Could use telekinesis to get that. Which actually might be the only way. Nah, there is a pathway. There's gotta be some way up there. Hmm. seem to do anything. So strange. Don't even try to lay a finger on her. Well, I just woke everybody up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't suppose I have the key to this? Doesn't even take a key. Oh. Oh, that's easy. Where does this go, though? Hmm? Why did that just shut my face? It's not related to this, is it? Some sort of a timed thing? Nope. Weird. Is that timed, or am I setting it off somehow? I think it's just timed. <gasps> oh, that's it. Cross, you are now mine. It's... Looks like a ring. Ooh! In fact, I can even wear it. Does it do anything? Doesn't seem so. It makes a fancy noise, though. I ring the bell by touching that? Maybe that would, like, alert the guards if I wasn't supposed to be here? I mean, looking at all of this, it looks like I didn't even... Uh, perhaps I didn't even need to give her the shield. Or maybe even go to the dungeon in the first place. Maybe I could have just snuck in here. Hopefully just stayed to the shadows and stayed unknown, but also I could have just murdered them and just outright stole it. It looks like that actually was an option. So that is pretty sweet. It's always good to have multiple pathways, especially in an RPG with a lot of different character types. Alright, well I didn't find a pathway up there. In that case... Yoink! Anything else? Magical plated leggings of extra protection. I think I've already got some, actually. No, I have some non-magical plated leggings of normal protection. Okay, I have Krahas. Alright, but I'm missing the other part, and the other part is with the Sisters of Adernium, no? 
so... That means... Either I need to go murdering them. Since they do all hate me, so I'm pretty sure they're going to try to murder me. Or, perhaps I need to go back to the king. Or perhaps to the Adernium that is at the castle. And talk with them. But regardless, I also need to sell a bunch of stuff. So I am going to go do that, and I'll be right back. Huh. Um... Isn't this my room? It is. I don't know if that's been there for the entire time that the Dark Ritual first appeared, or if that's more recent. Uh, this is my room in the castle. Somebody... somebody really doesn't like me. Ew. Well then. Uh, I think it's just been a very, very long time since I ever visited my room. Anyway, back to selling stuff. Always the same. Alright, well, I've gone ahead and sold most of what I wanted to sell. There's always a couple accidentally left behind things, like these gold rings, and for some reason the jeweler guy does not want the gold bar. I don't know why. And a couple spells. But for the most part, I've mostly cleared out my inventory. Got almost two full sections. Also went ahead and dumped all of my books here. Which is a terrible place to store books, as it turns out, because there are actually multiple fires here. Uh, yeah, don't don't ever do this in real life. But in Arx Fatalis, it is perfectly fine. Here, we'll douse the flame. Holy shit, that actually worked. I didn't think that would actually work. Uh, now it's all creepy and dark. Wow, those actually count as sources that you can light and unlight. Cool. Anyway, yeah, there's all my uh, notes and books that I don't immediately need. I kept the ones for the treasure hunt, and I also kept the one for the mysteries of finance. Because somebody was saying that this is a book that can come in handy. I don't know in what way, but I'm going to keep it on me. I'm assuming you can give it to somebody for part of a quest or something. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep it. Oh, also, I went ahead and repaired all my armor, my weapon. I also switched out my ring of general protection for a second spellcasting ring, so now I've got two spellcasting rings. Which has increased my casting skill up to 76, down from 63. couple things I want to do. Uh, first thing I want to do is speak to her and also go see the king and see if that triggers anything. But also, I have not forgotten, I do want to get to that quest with the uh, troll's birthday. I haven't forgotten about it. Wisdom gazes down upon you from these shells. Okay, don't need to talk to her. Let's go speak to the king. Whose name I've completely forgotten. Yo, dude, I got your stone. Action. Now go, Amshagar, and save us from this demon. Find Krahos and Zohark and oh, destroy this accursed meteor once and for all. Amshagar, now you must go on your quest to find Krahos and Zohark. Finally, Krahos is returned to us. Many thanks for your honesty and devotion, Amshagar. Bear it to the sisters of Idernium immediately. They will be delighted to get their prized possession back, and they will no longer bother me about it. The kingdom of Ox will never forget your courage. Bear it to the sisters. <laughs> Wait, but don't I want the other... stone? Like, doesn't it have to be in my possession? If I give it to them, then it's not going to be in my possession. Uh... I don't know. Okay. Let me go show it to her over here. Uh, 
Would you like this? No? No? Apparently not. Okay, I guess I do have to go pay a visit to the Sisters of Adernium. Who, I'm pretty sure since I shot fireballs at them, um, they're gonna hate me. Yeah, apparently they don't hate you by default. I guess if you go to visit them normally, they don't, and you can maybe talk with them normally, but I... I guess I'm gonna have to fight my way through. Okay, so that does leave the quest with the troll. Hmm. But... I think I'm going to save that for the next episode, but there is one thing I want to do before getting to that. Before I forget, and that is to visit the freaking bank. Because at this point, I have 21,000. I, I literally can't think of anything I could possibly buy. I can't think of anything I need to save my money for. So let's go see if I can buy some shares and... Perhaps figure out what the hell that even does. Ooh, that's a fancy looking little dagger on his back, isn't it? Anyway. <sighs> Alright, what's here? Goblin mine share. And goblin mine shares. And gold bars. Oh, maybe I can give gold bar. Yeah, so this is where you give gold bars. Not to the jeweler, but to the bank. Alright. Mmm. Hold on. I wonder if the troll would like a gold bar as a birthday present. <laughs> I mean, who the hell wouldn't like a gold bar as a birthday present? I guess it depends on whether the troll is looking... Like, is the quest set up in such a way that he needs one specific thing, or is it just like anything above a certain value is considered a good present? <coughs> if it is, then a gold bar would be amazing. A bit over the top, but it's not like I don't have the money to be over the top. Yeah, I'm actually going to save it. However... Since I am effectively rich, and I'm curious what these shares do, I'm gonna buy all of them. Give me those shares. I'm gonna own this mine, and you're gonna pay me dividends or something. I don't even know what dividends are. In fact, maybe the troll would like some shares of the goblin mine. Oh no, I'm down to 16,000! I'm gonna starve to death. Your uh, chair is floating there, buddy. <laughs> I feel tired. Excuse me, I'm just going to take this banker's chair over here. Look for the right place to put it. Um, let's see if I can find it. I'm thinking that I should put it right about... there. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return I'll go try to give a present to the troll, and go speak, or probably more accurately go blow up, the sisters of Adernium, because I think they hate me.